the University of Nebraska as an intern. And the coaches have to make recruiting calls and recruiting letters, all that stuff to make sure they get the best athletes. And since Nebraska sports now stink, um, you've got some work cut out for you. So your job is to uh, send out all of these letters, but you're going to try to find some shortcuts so you don't have to address 4 million letters to all these different recruits. So we're going to update today's date. The directions are in the red boxes. So update today's date. Today is what? September? 29th, and it's 2047. That's pretty sure, pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to click on this and delete it. Change your font to Arial size 12. So I'm going to go Command A, which is select all, and go down to Arial. Um, a lot of times, different places have like a font that is their font uh, for marketing. They always use that font. Ours is Optima, so we're going to say the University of Nebraska is Arial. And everything looked like it was already size 12 right here. Highlight the paragraphs, double finger click, click the paragraph, change the light and spacing to be exactly 19 point. So I'm just gonna highlight the paragraph, two finger click, paragraph, lines and breaks. Nope, just kidding. And dents and spacing. Spacing is going to be exactly 19 point. Okie dokie. That looks nice. Goodbye. Add a border. The borders can be, why will you not unhighlight? Unhighlight, please. All right, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, borders can be a little bit tricky. Um, let's see, used to be in format. There we go, format, borders and shading. So this is kind of confusing. They have a ribbon up here with all of the titles, but up above that, it may disappear. That's why I couldn't find it format and we're going to do borders and shading for some reason on max it's not just a port a border it might go around a paragraph and said we want a page border and i'm going to do a box and select something that i think looks nice well those are all boring we'll go with that and make it nice and fat mm -hmm. and not that and we're going to make it red because this is for the University of Nebraska. Apply to the whole document. Looks fantastic. Ooh, options. Um, we want to make sure from the edge of the page we're at 24 point. Luckily, I that was by default. Sometimes it's not edge of the page, and it, it ends up way too far inside. So there's my nice border. Add a border. Hasta luego. Create a letterhead for the University of Nebraska at the top of the page. So... Right here, it tells me that this is the address. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna put that up at the top. If I double click up at the top, this is my header. I'm gonna put that, and, and then a lot of times they have things like uh, a logo of some sort. Check out the images, find the big red N. I'm just gonna copy that baby in and paste it, maybe. Let's do this. I'm gonna paste it down below. And it has a really big outline, so I'm gonna crop it, two finger click and crop. Because otherwise it's gonna be too big and everything's gonna shift down. Go back up in here and tab over a few times so I can put the end next to it. Click off of it and I'm going to shrink my end down. And two finger click and I'm going to go to wrap text and I'm going to make this, let's go in front of text. And that way it'll let me put it anywhere in the document, even if it's up in the header, like here. Go back up in the header. Back my tabs up a little bit. Space everything down. And I'm just going to try to get the spacing so it looks right with the N. Right about like that. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just insert a horizontal line. So insert, shape, shape, line. Draw my line going across. And it's starting to look official-ish. It's blue, I don't want it to be blue. 
I guess I can just change it right here to be red. Tab it down a little bit. Looking better? Looking better. Okay. Uh, create a letterhead. Done. Follow the YouTube instructions, which is this, on how to mail merge. Save your file and hand it in. All right. Goodbye. Okay. That's all you have to do so far. Hang in there. So this is the first part. There's also going to be an Excel file that is uploaded along with this. So there's going to be the example when it's done. Your example looks something like this. Looks kind of fancy, looks kind of nice. Uh, the problem is that we're going to have all these athletes and we're going to send it out to a bunch of people and we want it customized to them so it's not just dear student because if you read dear student it doesn't sound very personalized so if it says dear writer and we, he feels like hey they're writing to me I must be special I must be important so we have this recruit list database and we're going to link our word document to this so it's going to say dear Tony Stark and it's going to get his address and it's going to sign whatever the coach's name is so the database is already made. You don't have to do anything with that. What you do have to do is mail merge it in. So here where it says merge athlete first name, instead of just typing Tony and last name Stark, we're going to cheat and we're going to have it bring in everybody automatically. So this is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to mailings. And I'm going to go to select recipient and use existing list. I already have a list that's created, so I'm going to go find wherever you download that Excel file to. We'll need to put that in a folder somewhere um, because you're going to link these documents together. I'm going to go to wherever I have that folder saved. For me, it's under teaching. For you, it'll just be under like downloads probably. And computer class. And seventh grade. And holy moly this is getting deep so basically I just have to go find recruit list database and hit open it's now linked together yes I trust it sheet one yes that's what we're looking for cell range we're doing the entire thing so we're just gonna leave it blank and click OK all right so now instead of merge first name merge last name I'm just gonna delete both of those and I'm gonna go up to insert merged field athlete first name, space, space, insert merge field, athlete last name. If I want to preview what it looks like, I click the ABC button and it says, Dear Wally West. I want to see the next one. The next one says, Dear Tony Stark, Dear Steve Rogers, Dear Alan Scott. It goes through all these superheroes. And so when I hit print, I hit the print button one time and it prints out all of them. Automatically brings them in. Kind of cool. I'm going to unclick the ABC button and then I'm going to insert athlete address so I go up to insert athlete address address line 2 insert address line 2 we always want to preview it and make sure there aren't like extra characters extra spaces parentheses things like that make sure I deleted everything I'm supposed to dear athlete first name I've got some of these before that are totally botched it'll be like dear Concordia University supporter or insert supporter name here or something like that and it's like yeah you don't care about me I'm not gonna send you any money okay insert athlete first name again um, merge experience insert experience period I'm gonna go back to this um, insert okay while reviewing your film I believe you could be one of those athletes I'm especially impressed with your merge attribute so maybe some of them are just really strong some of them are really fast so I'm gonna put attribute one and attribute two insert attribute two merge high school insert high school Insert on camp date. So we're going to invite them to a camp. Camp date. Insert camp location. Period. Sincerely, merge coach name. Insert coach name. So what this does is it allows you to be incredibly productive. Okay, there's extra stuff down here, so we're going to have to delete that. 
There's a second page, so I'm just going to hit backspace enough until that second page deletes. Goodbye, back page. So this is pretty much the assignment done already. So I'm going to click the ABC button and preview it, make sure there aren't any extra characters. I have my date. Dear Steven, it's been a pleasure to be coaching at Merge Sport Name. Uh-oh, I missed that one. That's going to sound stupid. Insert sport name. Basketball at the University of Nebraska for the last two years. In that time, I've had the pleasure of coaching several top-tier athletes and enjoy helping them develop both academically and also as individuals. While reviewing your film, I believe you could be one of those athletes. Does this sound customized? Think about this. If you get a letter that says, I'm especially impressed with your agility and ball sense. San Jose Lutheran is truly blessed to have an athlete of your caliber at the helm. I'm sure you'll be missed. On March 11th, we're hosting a camp where we will be hosting the best of the best from around the country. I believe you would be very competitive in our camp and would like to personally invite you to join us at the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Sincerely, Fred Hoiberg. It seems customized. If I go to the next guy, it's going to tell he's impressed with court awareness and dedication. Next person, attitude and skill. Next person, dedication and speed. And it also customizes the public school or whatever school they go to. So it seems like these letters are all very customized and then when i'm done all i have to do is hit merge hit this button and it prints all 700 of them or whatever out and it took me just a couple minutes so when i'm done with this i would just go to save as because i need to save it as something new save it with something with your name in it don't really care a whole lot about what you name it but something with your name in it and um, the last step then is I'm going to create a new folder. Actually, I'm going to call it with whatever my name is. And I'm going to drag both the database and that letter into the folder. And after they're in the folder, I'm going to go to two finger click and then compress. What that does is, is it zips it all together. So this is now one file. So I stuck two files in there. That is now one file and I can download it. And then all I have to do is double click and it opens it up as a folder and I can get the inside of the contents. So I'm going to be uploading this zipped folder, which makes however many files into one file. And then when I download it, I can open it up to be all those files. Probably a little overwhelmed because there was a lot there. Luckily, this is all on video. And so you can watch it 312 times or however many times you want. Um, but that's the project.